Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, uh, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions according to the given information. Here the information is uh, study the following bar graph carefully and answer the questions. Uh, the information is about uh, number of girls and boys, boys and girls participating in a rally from five different schools. Here the information is about uh, how many girls and boys are participating in a rally from five different schools. Here five different schools are A, B, C, D, E. These are the five different schools uh, and uh, how many girls and how many boys are participating in a rally. That is the given information. Here if you observe carefully, you know, this box, uh, this box in the sense uh, blank one that is belongs to girls and this dark one is belongs to boys uh, according to this diagram. Okay. So you need to be cautious about uh, which one is boys and which one is girls. Sometimes he will mention first one is boys and second one is uh, girls. Uh, so whenever he mentioned uh, these kind of diagrams you just have a look at about uh, this particular case if you look at this one here the blank one is related to girls and the dark one is related to boys if you observe this one definitely you can identify which one is belongs to boys and which one is belongs to girls now it is very clear that uh, information is uh, valid information and uh, we can able to solve the questions according to the given information. Each and every value is known value. How many boys are uh, participating in a rally from all five schools and how many girls are participating in a rally from all five schools. Uh, that is the information. Now we need to solve the questions. Uh, look at the first question. What is the total number of girls participating in a rally from schools A and C together. Here the question is uh, A and C together number of girls. A and C together total number of girls participating. A. A number of girls. Girls representation is white color. So girls uh, A 450 whereas coming to C this uh, A value 450 whereas coming to C it is uh, 475 475 now you can add these two values units place 0 plus 5 5 7 plus 5 12 1 is carry forward 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 1 9 925 925 therefore total number of girls uh, who are participating in the rally from the schools uh, A and C together which is 925. Option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. Second one. Second question. What is the respective ratio of uh, total number of girls participating in the rally from schools D and E together and the total number of boys uh, participating in the rally from schools uh, A and B together. Here we need to calculate the ratio ratio of uh, first girls D and E together. D and E girls and the second one second one is uh, boys A and B. A and B together boys. A and B together boys. This is the Ratio we need to calculate. First one is uh, D and E girls. Girls are belongs to white color. So D. This is uh, girl and this is also girl. Here D. School D number of girls uh, 500. School E number of girls 550. So this value becomes 1050. 1050. And next uh, school A number of boys. Number of boys. Boys are dark color, right? So, this is a dark one. A and B. Here, 475. 475. That is school A. Whereas, coming to school B, 525. School B, 525. Now, you can add these two. 475 plus 25, 500. 500 plus 500, 
that is 1000. So, the ratio of these two, here 0, 0 gets cancelled. You can cancel with 5 table as well. 5 21s, 5 20s. Therefore, the required ratio of uh, D and E girls and uh, A and B boys, that is 21 is to 20. 21 is to 20, that is the required answer. Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. Let us look at the third question. The number of girls, number of girls participating in the rally from school E is approximately what percent of number of boys participating in the rally from the same school? Here we need to calculate the approximate percentage. Approximate percentage, which is nothing but here the question is uh, girls from school E. School E. Girls from school E. This particular value, what percent of, uh, what percent of boys from the same school? In the denominator, you need to write boys from the same school, which is E. And whenever you are calculating percentage, into 100 percentage symbol, that is the common thing. Now, you can calculate this value. Approximate percentage is girls school E. Girls school E, which is 550. Here, the white color is uh, uh, girls and the dark one is uh, boys. So, girls school E, which is uh, 550. Whereas, coming to boys, that is 450, right? Here it is, boys uh, 450 into 100 into 100 percent decimal. Now here it is 0, 0 gets cancelled. 5 11 sir, 5 9 times. Now this value becomes 11 into 100, 1100, 1100 by 9 percentage which is nothing but approximately. You don't want to calculate decimal values as this 1100 is not divisible by 9. You just take the approximate answer. First uh, 9 1 sir. 9 and still left over with 2 20 20 means uh, 9 2 sir 9 2 sir uh, again uh, 18 uh, still 2 will be left over 20 20 means again 9 2 sir so 122 percentage that is the approximate value you don't want to calculate the exact value the reason is uh, he is asking us to calculate the approximate value and we don't want to calculate the after the uh, point what will come. That is not at all required. So, always when we are, when we are trying for uh, approximate answers, just go with the approximations. Uh, no need of calculating the exact answer. Is it clear? For this question, the answer is 122 percentage. In the given options, we have uh, 122. That is option E. Option E is the right answer for this question. Option E. Let us look at the fourth question. What is the average number of girls participating in the rally from all schools together? Here we need to calculate the average. First of all, uh, average is equal to what? Sum of observations. Sum of observations divided by number of observations number of observations. Average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations. That will give us uh, average. So, here also we have to do the same task. Uh, average of uh, all the girls participating in the rally. That is a question we need to calculate. Uh, if you want the average of all girls, uh, numerator value will be sum of all girls divided by number of schools divided by number of schools. How many values we are taking into consider? Therefore, average is equal to first num uh, total sum of girls. Girls nothing but uh, white color portion. All these are girls. So, write down all the values in school A. Number of girls 450 plus school B 550 plus school C 475. School D, 500. School E, 550. This is the total sum divided by number of schools. How many schools are there? Five schools. Therefore, the required average is equal to, see here, 450, 550. 
thousand. Thousand plus five hundred, fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred plus five hundred, two thousand. Still fifty is left over at this position. Take this value as five hundred only. This is thousand plus thousand, two thousand. Two thousand plus fourteen hundred plus one twenty five. Right? Ah, uh, fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred and twenty five. One five two five. One five two five. Four seventy five plus fifty. That is ah uh, five twenty five. Five twenty five plus ah uh, two thousand. Right? Ah, uh, this is thousand and this is thousand. Total two thousand. Two thousand plus ah five twenty five. Two thousand five twenty five divided by Five divided by five. Now you can calculate this value. Five five sir. Five five sir. Twenty five. Next zero. Again five five sir. Find out five into five. That will give us sir uh, two five two five. Therefore the required average is a uh, five zero five. Average number of girls participating in the rally from all schools together. Find out five. Option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Last question in this session. The number of boys, the number of boys participating in the rally from school B, is what percent of number of children participating in the rally from that school? See, in the given bracket, uh, rounded off to two digits after the decimal point. So we need to calculate uh, after the decimal point uh, to up to two digits. We need to calculate. Okay. Here the question is. Uh, We need to calculate the percentage. What is our required percentage to be calculated? That is uh, number of boys from school B. Boys from school B. What percent of uh, total number of children from that school? Total number of children from school B. Therefore, boys B divided by total school B. And whenever you are calculating percentage into hundred percentage symbol, that is the common thing. Therefore, the required percentage is equal to boys from school B. Here, if you look at a uh, boys from school B, which is five twenty five divided by and uh, total number from school B. Total number is nothing but boys and girls together. Girls five fifty plus boys five twenty five. Into hundred. Now we can calculate this one. Here it is five twenty five divided by. Here it is thousand uh, plus seventy five. Thousand seventy five into hundred percentage. Right. Now here we can calculate with the. Uh, we can cancel with twenty five table. Twenty five two and one twenty one times. And next this is four times and uh, three times. Uh, Twenty-one by forty-three into hundred. So that value is nothing but two one double zero divided by forty-three. Calculate one by one. If you take this one as uh, five times, uh, it will be more than uh, more than two ten, right? Forty-three four sir. First forty-three four sir. Forty-three five that is two hundred and two fifteen. That is more than two uh, ten. So forty-three. Four sir. If you observe the options, uh, each and every option is almost uh, nearby values. Forty-eight uh, point something, forty-seven point something, forty-nine point something, forty-six point something. So when the options are nearby values, better to go with the uh, exact values. You will get the uh, exact result uh, instead of going with approximations. Here it is forty-three four sir. That is one sixty plus twelve one seventy two. Still, you left over with uh, 28 plus 10, 38, uh, and uh, 380. 380 means <clears throat> 48. Uh, how many times uh, around uh, 48? Uh, sorry, 43 eights there. Suppose, for example, if you take uh, 43 eights, sir, uh, uh, that is 320 plus 24, 344. And uh, if you take uh, one more time, if it is nine times, uh, then it will be 387. So You should not go with uh, that value. Forty-three eight, sir. Forty-three eight, sir. Value is three forty-four. Still, you left over with thirty-six. Uh, thirty-six. Uh, so three sixty. 
360 means again it is 8 times 344 and next 16 and next uh, that will be around uh, 3 point something so you will get a uh, 48.84 percentage why because uh, here if it if you take a uh, 3 uh, we don't have the option related to 3 but we want the answer up to two decimal digits here if you observe carefully in the given options 48.84 is there so you can keep the answer as 48.84 option a is the right answer and if you look at the remaining options there is no other option which is satisfying the given answer here our required answer is 48.84 sometimes uh, if uh, if luck is not in our favor, uh, some of the options, uh, at least two options will be in terms of 48. In that case, uh, it is very difficult to uh, get the entire result. So, you must be aware of uh, these kind of techniques. Uh, if you are getting uh, 48, uh, in the given options, nothing, uh, no other value starts with 48. Directly, you can keep it as uh, 48.84. Okay, option A is the right answer for this question. In this way, you need to solve the questions related to this model. Guys, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. And thank you. Thanks for watching.